What's up YouTube? This is FJ55 Iron Pig here with another video. Thanks for clicking on my video and taking a look. Uh, I did this at work the other night and it took me a full several hours because I was constantly interrupted while doing this because I'm at work. Uh, I believe this is called a Sinet, Sinet, Falling Sinet, something like that. It's a pretty cool way to store your paracord. A really good video, actually one that I watched on how to do this, is on ITS Tactical. Again, that's ITS Tactical. They have their own YouTube page, their own website, all that good stuff. Here's a close-up look of what the braid looks like. I think it's pretty damn cool. Don't know about you guys, but look at that. Such a neat design. Uh, first thing I want to say about doing this, it's a pain in the ass. It takes a long time. It's really tedious. But when it's done, it's really cool. I mean, it's pretty dang solid. All I did was I made uh, six, what is that, like six inch loops of my 550 paracord. And then I started wrapping this around it like so. Pretty darn, pretty darn cool. I think I did two, three, three or four passes around this in a circle. Basically the way this is going to work, and I kind of tied off the end here so it wouldn't come loose. Here's how it is normally when you finish. All you do is you pull on this end and you take off as much as you want. Kind of similar to the other way I store my uh, paracord. Like a falling chain, daisy chain, whatever the real name is. I think that's called a sinet, a sinet also. But you can take off as much as you want and use that. And you don't mess up the integrity of this, which is really cool. Uh, kind of the way you do it. This isn't so much an instructional video, but it might help some. This, of course, isn't how you start it. Tighten this down. There we go, get it nice and tight. So you start with a loop. Yeah, you can kind of see that there. Excuse the background. I'm trying it out, see what I would think of it. Looks a little more interesting than before. So yeah, this end, the standing end is just kind of, or the, sorry, the working end is falling off. That way you pull it through. And you make a loop inside the loop. So you got a loop, and then another loop. Keep your working end always going forward, and your standing end, which is the end that stands there, doesn't go anywhere, in there. And you have to go to the other opposite side of wherever your knot is, or your loops are. Pull it tight, and that cinches down your last, whatever it's called, sinnet. Then you pull the excess through on the working side. I pull mine really tight. Bring some of the excess out. Pass it back through again, and you just repeat this process. It's very, very tedious. My fingers are pretty sore. This is actually a 100 feet of paracord, brand new paracord. There we go. And you just repeat this over and over and over. I don't know how many times this has been done on here. I bet it's probably pretty close, like five, six, seven hundred times. Probably not a thousand, but it's a lot regardless. If you like enjoy doing knots or trying out different ways to store your paracord that one look nice, that are easy to use, this would be one way to consider. It's called the Minette. Check them out on ITS Tactical. It's the best video I found out there on how to tie this, as well as all their other knots. And that's pretty much my video. I just want to give you a little cool little update on it. It makes a nice ring. And then you can use this as a base for anything. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Rate, comment, and or subscribe. Have a nice day out there, and you be safe.